Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Python Schlex module, which I think has a, has a bit of a funny name, but uh, what Schlex is, is it's a shell lexing library. Uh, it basically helps you parse uh, shell-like command line strings, and uh, it also helps you unparse them so that you can safely call shelled things uh, without worrying about shell injection. Um, so I'm going to show you a few examples of how the command line itself does some parsing, and then I'm going to show you the Schlex module in Python. Um, but yeah, the, the, the main rules to think about when worrying about Schlexing is things that are butted up against each other, uh, strings that are butted up against each other, are treated as a single argument. So if we... Actually, let's just show the arguments by doing python dash c import sys print sys dot arg v one colon. Uh, that way we can see kind of a representation of what these actually look like when they get parsed by the shell in memory. Uh, now, if you separate these apart, you'll see that you get two separate arguments here. And again, like the quotes, uh, the quotes don't really matter. So single quotes, I mean, they do matter for variable expansion, but for, for the sake of our discussion today, this, the single quotes and double quotes, those strings are treated the same. And one kind of weird thing that you have is if you need to put a double quote inside of a double quoted string, what you'll do is you'll end that double quote you will start a single quoted string. Inside that single quoted string, you will have a double quote. You will end the single quoted string. Uh, then you will start the double quoted string again and you'll have, have the rest of it. Um, so this, this, <laughs> this weird sequence here produces just a single double quote character uh, in the middle of the string. And this is you know, one, of, one of the rules you have to worry about here. Um, the same is true in reverse. If you wanna put a single quote inside of a single quote, you have to do that kind of string flip-flopping. Um, this can get a little bit wild if you have to do a lot of string flip-flopping. Um, <laughs> I have this kind of funny bash alias, um, which is cry, which is alias to, I actually made this using the Schlex module, so we'll show that in a bit. Um, but the reason, the reason that I have this is uh, that way I can type cry or cry softly on my terminal and it'll always print a sad face, but anyway. Okay, so that's that's most of the rules that we're talking about today. Things are joined if they're butted up next to each other, and you can switch back and forth to get the other quote if you need it in a string. Um, but beyond that, it's it's you know, basic argument parsing. Uh, oh, also things don't have to be quoted. So if you don't quote them, you know you get this. If you quote something that has white space in it, that white space will be preserved, and so you can see you you get this output here. Um, and the, the default splitting, string splitting in Python doesn't handle these rules. So if you did like a, b, c dot split, you'll see that it retains like quotes here and like, uh, you know, all the, the spacing here, even if we had, oh, actually we would want, we want to show, <laughs> we would want to show it, you know, splicing two arguments in part. So you can see it split these up into two separate arguments. So by default dot split is not going to help us here. Um, but fortunately, there is schlex.split, which will help us here. So if we import schlex and we do schlex.split, schlex.split, and we'll take that same string that we just had, foo, a, a, b, c. Um, so this should give us one argument, foo, another argument that's a space b, and then a third argument that's c, and you'll see it does do that. And so this can be really useful if you have like a config file that has commands in it, you want to parse those commands and then run them. Uh, for instance, like uh, pre-commit uses schlex.split for the entry. Uh, if we look at, actually, I don't know if there's any good examples in, uh, oops, pre-commit hooks. Oh, we want the hooks.yaml. Uh, oh, so there's not really any great examples here, but uh, this entry ends up getting shellexed. So if, for instance, you had done like, you know, check byte or marker dash i or something, uh, then this these two arguments would get parsed out and then pre-commit's gonna run that for you. But uh, that's one example where I'm using uh, shellex.split. So that's, that's shellex.split. This is taking a command string and parsing it into its various arguments. Uh, and then the opposite of shellex.split is schlex.join. This function is actually new uh, in Python 3.8. So if you're working in older versions of of, um, of Python, you won't have access to schlex.join. 
uh, B, C. So if we were to take those arguments in here, you'll see that it has requoted this. Um, and it, it, it's smart here, so it knows that it doesn't need to quote this foo argument. And actually, to make it less confusing, let's just print this so we can see that here. So it knows that it, it needs to quote this argument in here, but it doesn't need to quote foo or C. And if we were to put single quotes in here, you'll see that it does that same little, uh, you know, uh, sequence that I showed you before to you know, s stop single quotes, start double quotes, do a single quote, stop double quotes, start single quotes again. Um, also, schlex.join and schlex.quote, which I'll show you later, uh, they're always going to prefer single quotes here, so it's never going to spit out a double quoted string. Uh, and this is to prevent against like variable expansion or other types of expansion. In theory, it could know that you know, this could be represented more succinctly as a double coded string, um, but it's, you know, it's not super clever on this, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is mostly not for, you know, hopefully not for human consumption. Um, but yeah, and, and the way selects.join works under the hood, uh, if you needed to implement your own, for instance, if you're working in Python 3.8 or less than 3.8, uh, my schlex join, uh, let's see, params. The way you would implement this is join by space and then do schlex.quote arg for arg in params. Um, and so this this implements my own my schlex join. Uh, and I've written this exact function a bunch of times. A single quote B C. Um, and of course, we print that so it's easier to see but yeah you can see like this this works the same way as um as schlex.join does um and actually schlex.quote this function here uh if you're in python 2 which hopefully you're not uh that function actually lives in the pipes module uh schlex.split still lives in schlex but pipes the the quote function lives in pipes.quote and it's still an alias in python 3 for now i assume this will get removed at some point um but yeah that's how you can go back and forth between <laughs> Uh, sh shell arguments and not. Um, if you want to see how I generated this alias, uh, this one here, I started with um, echo sad face, I think, and then I did schlex.quote schlex.quote on that. Um, let's actually print the intermediate here. That gets us the first level. And then we have to do schlex.join sh dash c and then that thing join but three were given oh i need to parenthesis yeah and so then that's how i got to this string oh, actually mine looks way less quoted than this huh maybe i don't have to quote this one in here yeah i don't have to quote this one in here that's what it is so that gets us this and then i have to do uh, schlex.quote this so that I can put it into an alias. Okay, so that's how I got, that's how I got to this. Um, but anyway, uh, all for just a, a very, very silly thing. But anyway, this is, uh, schlex split, uh, schlex join and schlex quote. Hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.